I am assuming that all of you got the equation right. Which equation will be using here? S equal to ut plus half a t square. S is how much? Minus 100. U is how much? Plus 50. A is how much? Minus 10. This is correct? Okay. So you will have 5 t square and minus 50 t minus 100. Have you learned the factorization? Let's first simplify this. This will be t square minus 10 t minus 20 is equal to 0. Yes or no? So 20 is 5 into 4, which is 5. Yeah, we can't factorize it. Okay. But the formula we haven't learned yet, right? Quadrication formula. So let's keep it here only. You don't need to solve it. But have you understood how to apply the concept and get this equation? Solution of this equation is the answer. The solution, the how to solve quadrication equation, you will learn in mathematics. So, okay. Any doubts on this? Okay. Thirty-eight now. All of you, read the question number thirty-eight. Read question number thirty-eight, please. A bullet loses one twentieth of its velocity in passing through a plank. That is the point. If the initial velocity is u, let's say initial velocity is x, if you are comfortable with that. Let initial velocity be x meter per second. Okay? The final velocity will be what? Loses 120 of its velocity. What is happening is that bullet, wait, wait, let me explain what is happening. It is moving with x meter per second, okay? It penetrates the plank, plank and then comes out. How much is this velocity? 90 huh? 1 by 20 is lost. So how much is remaining? 90 by 20. X minus x by 20 is remaining. Yes or no? 120 is lost, so x minus x by 20 it is remaining. Any doubt? How much is this? 90x by 20 meter per second. This much velocity is your final velocity. If this is your initial velocity. Okay? Any doubt? Okay. What is asked is find the least number of planks required to stop the bullet. Okay. Now, how to solve this question? Anyone? I, I want to hear about here a uh, thought process. How to solve this? See, what is happening is that if you have one plank, if you have one plank, its velocity goes from x to 19 x by 20, but it doesn't stop. They're asking you to find out how many planks are required to stop the bullet. Ah, tell me. Sir, so I so I took this. Plus 2 and you know B is 19 by 20x. So you want acceleration basically. Yeah. Which is deceleration, right? Then? Uh, then I took the number of plants to be n and I got 2 as is equal to u square by m. I use Okay, understood. Okay. Anybody else you want to say something? How to solve it? You raise your hand, right? Who is it? Ah, tell me. Correct. So basically what they are saying is you get the value of deceleration. Deceleration will be there only till the bullet is inside the plank. Yes or no? As soon as it comes out of plank, deceleration goes up. Okay? You need to find out how many planks are required so that that deceleration stops the bullet. If you have just one plank, let's say its thickness is, uh, let's say thickness is D. Okay, then if you have n planks, the thickness will be n times d. Yes or no? Okay, so if this thickness is d, what is the value of deceleration? Can you find out quickly? If just one plank is 
continues and this is the scenario, what is the value of acceleration? When you get the value of acceleration, how much it is? Okay, let me solve this. Which equation I will use? V square equal to u square plus 2ax. Okay, V is how much? 90x by 20. Okay, this square u is x plus 2a into z. Right? So I will get 2a into z will be equal to 19 by 20 whole square minus 1 times x. So a is x square sorry it, it goes this side right yes sir so when oh, minus is one x right so I think you forget it you mean so you took x square also yeah I took it wrong anyways let me do it uh, right on all these steps it will be 19 by 20 whole square x square minus x square is correct okay so 2ad now I take x square common it will be 19 by 20 whole square minus 1. Understood? So, acceleration is x square by 2d. This is your acceleration. Got it? This is negative by the way. You see, 19 by 20 whole square minus 1 is negative. This is negative. Okay? Fine. Any doubt here? This is your acceleration. Alright? Now you have to find out how much distance the bullet should travel so that it stops. Initial velocity is x, final velocity should be 0. See, the last few questions are difficult. I can understand. square minus 20 square. 
minus of that. Okay. So you get S. How you get number of planks? This 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 S divided by distance of one plank, which is D. Okay. So S by D is the number which is 400 divided by 20 square minus 19 square. This is the answer. Very, very easy. 